There's the, that's the Delta Blues version of Man Eater. In case you haven't heard that one before. That's the best version I've ever heard, hands down. John Oates in the KSPN kitchen. How do you take a pop song and turn it into such a great blues song? Well, you know, um, Daryl and I started out as songwriters, and um, we believe that songs should stand the test of time and they should stand on their own. That's uh, To me, that's the criteria that I judge a song by. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I separate... I look at songs differently. I don't look at a song like the thing that you hear on a, on, on the radio or the thing you buy on a CD or a record or whatever. Th- that's the record. The record is not the same as the song. And so this goes to show you how a song can be stripped down and done in a completely different way. And if it, if it, subs- if it has substance and it's cool, it works. And uh, I break a lot of my, our, our old Hall & Oates songs down like that. And um, very fortunate for me and Daryl, they, they seem to work in a lot of different ways. So. They've uh, they've worked so well, in fact, that we got to congratulate you. And let's hear it from the studio audience. Congratulations <laughs> on uh, on getting inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That is big time, man. Thank you. Well, I, I you know we've only been el- eligible since 1997, so um, I wasn't exactly <laughs> sitting home uh, worrying about it. Um, but I'm really happy it happened, and uh, re- we're really glad. It's going to be fun, and uh, it's an amazing group of people to be inducted with: Cat Stevens, Elena Ronstadt, Peter Gabriel, Kiss, and um, let's see, did I miss somebody? Oh yeah, Nirvana. So oh, those uh, guys. It's going to be great. It's going to be a cool night in Brooklyn at the Barclay Center, and uh, on a- I think it's April 10th. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, we're going to get into uh, a few more tunes from uh, from the new project, Good Road to Follow. What are we going to hear now? Well, um, I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to play a lot of new songs, if you guys don't mind. Um, I've been working on a lot of stuff, and uh, it's been really exciting. Songwriters always want to play their new stuff. So this is a song um, I, I've been writing with a, a, and have become really good friends with a guy named Jim Lauderdale, who is just an absolutely amazingly talented guy. Uh, he lives in Nashville. He's known for his bluegrass and his um, kind of uh, country music. But when he and I get together, we always write something unique. It's some weird hybrid of what he brings and what I bring. And uh, I just love working with him. We've just become such good friends. So I like to do a couple of Jim Lauderdale songs. This first one's never even been recorded yet. Um, it's still kind of on the back burner. But I kind of like it because it's this weird, um, I think it's a existential swing song. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does in a weird way. <laughs> anyway, it's called This Is The Life. stitches on the emperor's new clothes so went on a happy face so no one knows trying to mend my troubles but you know how that goes so i suppose baby this is the life wish i could get to sleep and have that dream again and wake up in the like it didn't end But if that doesn't happen I can just pretend So it goes Baby, this is the life This is the life Go on and dive right in Living the life So live it up, my friend This is the life Round and round we go again Say la vie baby This is the life Say la vie Baby this This is the life This is the life Some folks believe in luck Some believe in fate, but they overlook the little things to celebrate. Sometimes you think you're ready, but you hesitate. Go with the flow, baby, this is the life. This is the life. Go on and die right in. This is the life 
Round and round and round we go again. Say, la vie, baby, this is love. Say, la vie, baby, this, this is life. Say, this is This is a life.